Hello, my name is Les Brown, and I'd like to talk to you about seven steps to control your financial destiny. I want you to take the time to listen, and I encourage you to listen to it again and again and again, because sometimes when you hear something at a different time, your life is in a different space, and you hear some things that you did not hear the first time, like going to see a movie that you've seen before. There's some things that you'll see, you say, whoa, I didn't see that the first time. So the same thing in expanding your consciousness and, and beginning to elevate the quality of your thinking, it's a process that you must review on a regular basis, that faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. But by your working and training your mind to serve you, you will accelerate the possibility of creating wealth in your life. And so controlling your financial destiny, the first step, which is major that I talk about all the time, yes, and you know what it is, a mindset, a millionaire mindset. That takes a process. I encourage you to think about how much money you want to create. That's number one. Number two, what are you gonna do with it? What, what's the purpose of it? Why is it that that's important to you? The other thing is, writing it down and understanding that you must bring some value. What is it that you have? What is it that you're going to exchange in the marketplace in order to do that? I remember something I, I heard by Jim Rowan said, you don't get paid by the hour, you get paid for the value you bring to the hour. So you have to train your mind to serve you. Dr. Carter G. Woodson said, if you can determine what a man shall think, you never have to concern yourself with what he will do. He said, if you can make a man feel inferior, you never have to compel him to seek an inferior status, for he will seek it himself. And if you can make a man feel justly an outcast, never have to order him to go to the back door. He'll go without being told. And if there's no door, his very nature will demand one. And so engaging in this process of training your mind, well, how do I do that, Les? One of the things I encourage you to do that I did for years and still do today, train yourself to read 30 to 40 pages of something positive every day to train your thinking. See, we can't control the thoughts that come in our minds, but we can control the thoughts that we dwell on. By reading 30 to 40 pages of something positive every day, you're saturating your mind and you're overpowering the negative thoughts that psychologists say that we think over 87 to 90% of our negative thoughts every day that goes undetected by our conscious mind. So that's the value of reading something positive every day and listening to something every day that's positive that will train your thinking. Now, the next thing, not only is the mindset as important, but information. 2007, Time Magazine said, the computer is the person of the year. And people were puzzled by that, why? Because for the first time in the history of the world, Everyday people have access to information that wealthy people have. And that really makes a difference. There's a slogan I hear with some radio stations that said that information is power. No, information that is applied in your life, that's power. And, and so you now have access to information that can help you to build and design the kind of life that you want, that you can learn anything that you so desire. You could just Google it, and there it is, available at your fingertips. The next thing is a network. The man who, who's still around today that I love is Dennis Kimbrough. He said, if you're the smartest one in your group, you need to get a new group. In order to create wealth and control your financial destiny, it's important that you have a network of friends that you can learn from, that you can grow from, friends that can help you to begin to access parts of yourself that you don't know right now, friends who have contacts and relationships and resources that you don't have, people that you can learn from, that you can grow from. You want to develop a network of friends. My mother used to say, if you run around with nine broke people, I guarantee you, you'll become number 10. So you want friends that have more than you, people that will challenge you, that will bring some value into your life. 
The next thing, not only a network of friends that's important, but dedication. See, if you are casual about your goals and dreams, they will never happen. You have to dedicate yourself. How you spend your time tells me who you are. See, there's a difference between working from nine to five to working from five until you faint. You've got to be willing to dedicate yourself to do whatever is required. A.L. Williams had a saying that I love very much. All you can do is all you can do. And all you can do is enough. But make sure you do all you can do. And so in creating your financial destiny and controlling it, it requires dedication. The next thing is system. There's no secret to success. There's a system. And you must learn the system. A lot of people say, well, I'm not a detailed person or I never worked for a major corporation. That, that's what I said. I gave myself an excuse in the past for not learning the things that I needed to learn. And i never forget what my mentor said. He said, Brownie, all of us are born the same way, dumb, naked, and speechless. You can learn. Creating wealth, controlling your financial future, it requires a system. It's something you can't wing. It's something you can't do by flying by the seat of your pants. You must learn to put together a system. Have people around you who have the skills and the knowledge and the ability to put together systems that you can execute that will allow you to control your financial future. The next thing is energy. If you're casual about your dream, you will end up a casualty. It requires energy. You've got to be fired up. I, I call it hunger. You, you know, you've got to be hungry. And, and when you are willing to put forth the energy, when you're willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have, the energy that you must invest is above and beyond that which is commonly accepted. And most people are low energy, flat energy. You've got to work on yourself. As you think about creating wealth, I want to ask you something. What's your strategy for being here? You've got to have a strategy. See, in order to create wealth, it requires a lot of energy, a lot of work on your part, dedication on your part. So that means that you want to get a physical checkup, you want to exercise, you want to set aside time that you're going to take care of you so that you will have the energy and, and be able to put in the time necessary to accumulate wealth that will allow you to control your financial destiny. And the next thing is managing your time. That is managing yourself. Time is important. And so where are you putting your time? How are you using your talents, abilities, and skills? That's important to know because whatever you're doing with your time, that tells me who you are. And so it's important to prioritize what's important to you. Because when you look at, at the end of the day, all of us have 24 hours. And so you've got to ask yourself, what's important? What is it that I need to do? One of the things that I encourage you to do is get a list of something that you know that if you do these things, and I'll say, let's say get a list of seven things that you know that these are seven action steps that will move you in the direction of your dream. Now, when you get ready to go to sleep at night, think about what is it you want to get out of the day that's coming up. The next day, most people just trying to get through the day. You want to get something out of the day. And so you list seven things that's important to you that would move you closer to your dream. You write those things down the night before, you read those things before going to sleep, and when you get up the next morning, you read those action steps, and you start working immediately on those action steps, and don't do anything else until you have checked them all off to make sure that you've got that done. If you make a habit of doing that, of taking the seven most important action steps that will move you closer to your dream of the seven steps of creating financial independence. If you do that, you'd be surprised how fast you'll be able to reach your goal. You'll be surprised how fast you'll be able to accumulate wealth and control your financial future. You have something special. You have greatness within you. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.